Welcome to Warn, today we discuss. Gripen E or F-16 Block 70, which combat jet is best choice for next made in India fighter plane? As India looks to replace its aging Soviet-era lightweight combat aircraft fleet, two players have emerged as possible contenders, American Defense Major Lockheed Martin's F-16 Fighting Falcon Block 70 and Swedish Defense Major Saab's Gripen E fighter aircraft. Indian Air Force, IAF, has requirement of over 400 fighter aircraft, which is far higher than the 126 aircraft that were supposed to be made by the now junk medium multi-role combat aircraft, MMRCA, competition, IANS reported. The days where India imported fighter jets is over, and the IAF has already issued a global request to make single-engine combat jets under the Narendra Modi government's ambitious Make in India program. Now once again here we are where we have to choose between some more new variants of the 4GS. After cancelling MMRCA tender because of being fucked up by Dassault's price changes. The new tender floated to locally manufacture single-engine fighter aircraft have fighters for it. The tender has attracted two wonderful aircrafts throwing a whole new competition for Indians. And of course a whole new debate topic for aviation geeks. The F-16 Block 70 which is dubbed to be the most advanced variant of F-16 and the Saab Gripen NG E. Here we are bringing to you the full spectrum of EW capabilities, weapons and other warfare capabilities plus potential weaknesses so that you can make a proper choice as to which one could be better. First we take a look at Block 70 F-16 This came up as a surprise as nobody thought Lockheed Martin would make any further advancement to the system after making Block 60 for the Arabs. The F-16 in Super Viper a contender in MMRCA competition is considered to be quite close to Block 70. But still Block 70 packs much Mosala in it to be an attractive choice for the EW dominated battlefield of the future and today. The strategic advantage as what being talked in defense circles is that last production line of F-16 will be shifted in India. The Block 70 is the most advanced of all F-16s. There are 27 countries in the world who fly these planes, with the latest to join in two months time will be Romania. The Block 70 F-16 will have the fifth generation fighter radar capabilities, some of which are greater detection and tracking ranges, multiple target track, high resolution synthetic aperture radar, auto target classification and queuing, advanced growth modes. Lockheed Martin has been in talks with the Indian government since April to bring the Texas production line to India, and 2017 is the time frame they are looking at. About jobs being impacted back home in the US, Howard said that the F-35 fighter jet facility will be ramped up, meaning the F-16 workers will be absorbed there. The F-16 is by far the easiest fighter amongst its rivals the new fighters, like Gripen, have a lot of composite materials, and lack a lot of generational changes and modifications over its lifetime. The F-16 would be a great choice for India. Combat proven time and again. Upgradable with a high survivability portfolio. Within the IAF, which has for the last four decades, focused its training and tactics on fighting Pakistan F-16S, there is entrenched resistance to buying that fighter. Further, the air marshals are certain Washington would never allow Lockheed Martin to offer the kind of holistic proposal and technology transfer that Saab has offered. Assuaging these concerns, Ben Schwartz, who heads aerospace and defense for the US India Business Council says, the F-16 offers would come in as FMS deals with unprecedented technology transfer and make in India characteristics. A lot of work has gone into evaluating the level of indigenization more so than in any other case that people can recall. Backing him up, a senior Pentagon official says, in US India negotiations today, you have to throw away all the assumptions of the past about what Washington will allow and what it will deny. Don't assume anything is off the table. Radar and sensor suite, tilde it is equipped with an slash APG-83 AESA radar. 
described as Agile Beam it can perform air-to-air -air and air-to-ground search and track simultaneously. The noise reduction features of this one has made its range improved to almost 70 miles almost 84 kilometers for engagement. The image quality in air-to-ground mode is described as imagery glass. Just the same that is acquired from satellites. They can be acquired from long distances for air-to-ground targets and using its synthetic aperture radar mode pilots can locate and recognize the ground targets. Prioritize them and engage. The new MMC modules of its computers are said to be 30% faster than previous ones. Which allows sensor data fusion from the EW sensors for better situational awareness, here notably the data transfer network is quite faster than previous systems like Link 16. It is also equipped with off boresight aiming sensor which allows pilot to sense and target something out of his field of view. It also features a pilot friendly automatic ground collision avoidance system. Which continuously tracks pilot's awareness with respect to decreasing altitude. It makes pilot aware and turns up the aircraft automatically if it goes too close to ground. Because while maneuvering the aircraft to follow an enemy aircraft, the enemy may try to run Umawe by staying low and outmatching F-16 white taking ups and downs. The F May 16th then be hitting a mountain or be directed towards the ground and the system becomes tactically important. After F-16 now we can take a look of Saab JAS-39 Gripeny. The Gripen makers since the days of MMRCA competition are quite desperate to make sale to IAF. So much that we all know they even gave an advertisement on a bus stop in New Delhi. Be it Drakenvigen or Gripen the Swedes have always impressed the world with theater designs. Now Gripen is something truly solid and comes with an proven combat service. The Canard Delta wing design is better in maneuverability as we all know. But what the Gripen E offers here is a contemporary electronic warfare abilities that is what truly matters in next generation warfare. The price is high but that is because Gripen has got so much to offer. Gripen NG is the most advanced multi-role fighter in the world. Gripen is, by design, a true multi-role fighter aircraft, capable of performing an extensive range of air-to-air, air-to-surface and reconnaissance missions under all conditions in any environment. Saab has also set out a comprehensive plan within India's Make in India initiative, which will include transfer of state-of-the-art technology, setting up of an aerospace ecosystem in India, including a manufacturing facility, creation of a local supplier base, employment of a well-trained Indian workforce in engineering and manufacturing. Gripen offers operational dominance and flexibility with superior mission survivability. Air-to-air -air superiority is guaranteed with Meteor, AMROM, IRIST, AIM, 9 missile capability and Super Cruise. Air-to-surface capability is assured through the use of the latest generation precision weapons and targeting sensors. Gripen superior situation awareness is ensured through an AESA radar, IRST passive sensor, HMD, cutting-edge avionics, next-generation data processing and a state-of-the-art cockpit. While the IAF apparently likes the Gripen NG while it's not a Gen 5 fighter, the Gripen NG's data link a key element in modern air combat is reputedly the world's most advanced. Its avionics are built of gallium nitride, which delivers superior performance over conventional gallium arsenide avionics. The Gripen NG carries diverse weaponry from various countries, including the French Meteor Beyond Visual Range Air-to-Air -air Missile BVRAAM, reputedly the world's most advanced, with an estimated range of about 150 km. Independent researcher IHS Jains, finds the Gripen the cheapest contemporary fighter to operate. Sensor Suite, tilde this one is quite impressive amongst all the 4GS. Selex Galileo Raven ES, 05 AESA. This radar offers a 200 degrees coverage owing to its swashplate technique it sees where others are blind. This becomes quite important while on a commission. IRST, Infrared Siege and Track, Passive Sensor System Skyward G Infrared Active Product by Selex CS is synchronized, 
acquisition data transmission between devices, and also provides the ability to hang missiles reconciliation to fight. Gripen E has a new electronic architecture, Net-Centric Warfare NCW. Judge 10 times faster than its competitors. The new central system PPLI, Participant Precise Location and Identification, and connects all the slope's internal and external sensors, Raven, IRST, EW39, ATFLIR pod, and then offer the best responses to threats. This is right now best thing in Gripen as per me and after F-35 it is the only fighter to be able of that. The Gripen E is driven by General Electric's GE F414G turbofan engine rated at 22,000 LB, 98KN. It features a new high-pressure turbine and a new six-stage, high-pressure compressor. The aircraft's engine and design enable it to fly at supersonic speed without using an afterburner. The Gripen E features a digital cockpit with three large multifunctional displays, MFD, including a few 3D screens. The cockpit also features a hands-on throttle, and stick, HOTAS, which provides superior situational awareness for the pilot. Now take a look why India can buy nor not to buy these fighter jets reasons for India to select Gripen. One Gripen has lowest per unit life cycle and operating costs almost 4,000 US dollars. Two Gripen is the most sensor-packed and smartest fighter amongst the fourth generation fighter aircraft. Three Gripen makers. The Saab has offered to help India manufacture LCA Tejas and offer naval version of Gripen to Indian Navy IAC and IAC 2. Reasons for not selecting Gripen. One Gripen uses American engine so it will be difficult to manage supply chain. Two Gripens per unit manufacturing cost is higher than that of LMF 16 BLK 70. Three relatively less battle proven than F 16. Reasons for India to select F-16 One single supply chain More availability of parts Faster availability in wartime Two battle-proven platform and sold to many NATO countries and various countries worldwide So India can sell F-16 spare parts 3. One of the most advanced variant of F-16 With almost medium weight category like capabilities 4. Strategic advantage of grounding F-16s of Pakistan Air Force Reasons for not selecting F-16 1. High operating and life cycle costs as compared to Gripen 2. Less sensor packed than Gripen 3. Adversary Air Forces know F-16 better so they can formulate strategies to counter it 4. No specific advantage to other Indian indigenous products like LCA Conclusion so these were the awesomest 4GS we have got as a choice for replacing the MiG-21s of Indian Air Force. Seeing the depleting squadron strength it is critical that the decision be taken fast. The F-16 is experienced, comes with a strategic advantage and is versatile. It is relatively cheaper. While the Gripen is costlier is tactically more dominant and has got much greater amount of smart functions and sensors but have the lowest per unit operating cost. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Please comment your opinion for this news. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel world action and reaction news, warn.